The word is probably best used to describe a prince. But the art of being charming seems to have gone the way of fairy tales. Well, we're going to meet two guys determined to bring it back in the name of love. Joshua Pellisier and Jordan Harbinger haven't always had luck with the ladies. You're on game on. But when they helped a colleague score big with that special someone, the bosses at Sirius Satellite Radio tapped them to host a show about helping other guys improve their game. We don't want to just recreate us. We want to bring the best out in everybody so everybody can be themselves, but also just be the best version of themselves. It's not typically the woman's fault here. It's usually guys just don't get it. If you have a hidden agenda and you look at someone in the eyes, they're going to know exactly what you're thinking. Absolutely. In addition to the radio program, the two also teach their technique in person. They started a school called The Art of Charm. All right, so here's what you're going to do. Part of their work involves field exercises where they coach men to get the girls of their dreams, or at least to get them to say hello. You guys are going to go out today and you're going to meet uh, as many people as you can. Just say hello. You don't have to do anything else other than that. Let's go. One of their newest students, Nick, gives it the college try. Hey, excuse me? Are you familiar with Manhattan? Do you know like any good places where you can get a drink or, you know, meet a lot of people? Nick did not score a phone number, but his approach was still considered day. progress. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, man. She works at Mama Mia for like five years. Yeah, that's why I was like, oh, you know, there you go. Uh, Thank you, bro. All right. So that was awesome. Thing, uh, you didn't use your hand as much as I wanted to. Yeah, but, I figured. But it's okay. You used your body language much better. Um, has the 21st century male lost the art of the charm? Charm gone? I mean, I, I don't think charm's gone. First, like, everything revolves on this idea that you can make someone believe in you. you know, and that's what makes you valuable, makes men valuable as men. And, and that's what women typically are attracted to. Joshua Pellisier, Jordan Harbinger, and Nick Patel are here with us today. Guys, all right, let's talk to the, let's talk to the coaches first. Hey. All right, Joshua and Jordan, uh, can charm really be taught? Absolutely. The problem is that most guys don't actually learn this. It's something we're supposed to learn growing up by example or through example. And this should actually be taught in school. What guys don't, what guys don't get growing up is the vibe that, that makes you a man. A lot of society has changed and we just don't get that anymore. Well, I think what's interesting is you guys are really kind of giving a 101 on how to approach a girl and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so what, okay, so I know you were trying to help Nick out. So what do you tell guys? What's the best way to approach a woman so that you can actually make a connection? Okay, well, first thing that guys do, I think the, the biggest problem is that they kind of mess themselves up before they even get there. Yes. Girls are very, very... Why? why? How? Mostly. Okay, okay uh, yeah, this is... You're good because you're married and I know you know this already. I'm going to be all over you. I know. <laughs> <seconds. laughs> you and your wife boots are going to get attacked uh, yeah, by no, me man, in a second. I'm no, kidding. No, the idea is that uh, typically women are very, very, very good at reading body language. Yeah. They're very good. And though consciously they may not know why it is they think that you're creepy. Well, it's like, you, you know what it is though? If you're looking away, if you seem distracted. All these little things, that's, you know? Look at me. Look yeah. at me. You have beautiful eyes. I mean, that makes it very easy. <laughs> exactly. So, How was that, fellas? So the yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah, your gold, your money. So the, idea, mean, the idea is that, you know, you have these dominant body language features and yeah. traits, and if you're not a dominant man to the core, they can tell. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now guys, is the biggest problem that guys face that they're thinking about sex? Oh, that's a huge problem. And the woman can, can detect right away you're trying to get the clothes. Right. There are, yeah, you don't want to jump straight to the end of an interaction. That's, you know, patience progresses essentially. So yeah. what you have to do is the moment, there are three stages to an interaction. Attraction in the beginning, rapport, which is connection in the middle, and then right. seduction is at the end. And guys I think, try to skip. I think the problem is a lot of guys just do, they, they do too much. They try too hard. Yep. And that, that's, that's a big turn off. Now, okay, let me ask you, Nick. You were on the street. You approached this girl. You, you were adorable. I don't know why she didn't give you her number. <laughs> Thank you. I would have given you my she, number. Actually, to cut you off, um, what happened was <laughs> I was rude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, there we go. He's still learning. You didn't learn anything. <laughs> learning. You weren't learning. paying attention. <laughs> but when I walked back, and I was walking back to these guys. I saw Jordan holding up his phone. And I'm looking. I'm like, why is he holding up his phone? Yeah. And I walk across the street, and he's like, dude, you could have totally got her number. And I didn't have that awareness at the time that I literally could have took out my cell phone and said, hey, give me your number. But what, do you think she would have given it to you? Do you think she would have? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. So you she, just go up she was to the waiting for the clothes and the say, hey, um, hey, can you, you know, where's a restaurant and can I have your phone number? Sure. Well, yeah. what oh. she was laughing, she waited around <laughs> for the, the red light to change again and again. She was, she was flirting with time. She was flirting with Nick, you let her go. <laughs> she left the door. Now, she wait a minute. You have a, you have a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. How does she feel about you running this school? Oh, and you are single, and I want to know why. 
Why? So you're first. Right, absolutely. Uh, I've, it's really hard to date a dating coach, especially one that knows what he's doing. I mean, it's, it's really hard because ultimately, you know, she's got to live into this idea that I know what I'm doing with dating. And a lot of times women want to know, want to be the ones that are in control what happens in the interaction. Don't we just want authentic, though? I mean, I know there's a game to yeah. it. And a, can you work? Oh, hold on. But you can work it and all that kind of stuff. But, but, I mean, but, I mean, isn't there a point where you just want real? You don't want someone who knows how oh, to work it. No, there's, like, in the stages, in the beginning, it is about being fun and curious and, like, you know, the mysterious right. kind of guy is fun. But after you get past that, there's no joking around in this stage of right. rapport when you build connection. Like, if your best friend's, like, talking about something serious and you go, make a joke. And that's they're like, work. what are you doing? Why are you yeah. single? Well, yeah. <laughs> the, real answer, the real answer, honestly, is because it's fun. Yeah, it's okay. a lot of fun okay. to be single, so, especially in Manhattan. So, can I ask you if you tune into Sirius Radio, you can hear your kind of your tips? Absolutely. When is yep. your show? By the Maximum way, Maximum One Hundred Eight. It's called Game On. Game Sirius One Hundred Eight. Two p.m. Friday is at two p.m. Eastern. It's live, so people can call in and actually ask questions right, right off the so bat. So you have a lot of success great. stories. Oh, it's great. It's amazing. Really? Yeah. You think are you a success story? It's life changing stuff. Literally, it it's literally one of those things when I look back on my life when I'm seven years old. I can say. You know, this is one of the five things I did in my life that changed everything. Oh, cool. You guys must feel pretty good. You guys, yeah. thank you so Definitely. much. You should Absolutely. look out for a caller later named Raul. It'll Raul. be good. Going. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Raul. <laughs> 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 no problem. Oh, thank you guys very much for having us. Thanks, guys.